Rascal RoboOps is NASA and NIA's challenge to space enthusiasts around the world to spark a greater interest in space exploration and robotics. This is Team Envoy's response. So how did all of this start? In the fall of 2010, an email was sent out to uh, the students at the Grass Laboratory, and a group of students who were passionate about the project of space exploration uh, penned out a proposal uh, that we submitted to NASA soon after. So how is this competition important to your team? So really, space is this generation's frontier. Uh, we thought it would be an awesome opportunity here at the Grass Lab to use our resources to connect uh, the Philadelphia community with the space exploration community especially realizing that the closest NASA centers uh, are in New York and Washington, D.C. Space exploration can be an expensive undertaking, so Team Envoy's primary objective was to demonstrate that this endeavor could be achieved in a cost-effective manner. The solutions employed by Team Envoy accomplished the mission objectives efficiently by integrating innovative subsystems. Considering you were developing a space rover, how did you manage to stay within budget? So we wanted to make our systems modular and reusable. Uh, to this end, we thought of using existing hardware in the lab. Um, we also want to develop novel solutions. One example was this jamming ripper. Um, this can deform the shape of an object. Uh, it's nothing but a balloon as its outer membrane and has some coffee inside it. Um, another example is this omnidirectional camera. Uh, the lens you see here is nothing but a Christmas decoration. It costs about $5. These low-cost subsystems provide equivalent performance to similar high-end hardware. Space is a very unforgiving environment, and there are numerous hurdles to overcome in the design process. What are some of the challenges you had to address during the development process? We want to create robust communication between our robot and PC station, and create a custom interfaces. None of this would be possible without public support. Team Envoy engaged the larger Philadelphia community by giving talks motivating space exploration and robotics. Members of the team visited local middle schools and had the opportunity to interact with students. Members of the team also worked with the Challenger Learning Center in Houston to simulate a space rescue mission. Houston, this is engineering. Do you have a status on that humidity reading? Additionally, Team Envoy showcased the rover at the Philadelphia Science Festival. For these events, making the technology accessible was a huge driving force in the design process. Therefore, a very user-friendly interface with a proven track record was required. Instead of using a conventional radio frequency controller, we use the joystick. Kids enjoy testing the joystick that they're accustomed to playing with. Grasp Lab's philosophy has always been to push the envelope of science and technology while engaging and educating the larger community. Carrying on with this tradition, Team Envoy has and continues to nurture an excitement about space exploration and robotics in the broader spectrum.